should be able to publish it next month. <sighs> A few days ago, I was worried that I'd have to stop my work on it. Thankfully, that didn't come to pass. Well, Azar was one of your thesis advisors. Honestly, I was afraid that you might have gotten dragged down as well. How did things get settled? The newly appointed Acting Grand Sage reviewed all of our projects and gave us permission to continue our research. Acting Grand Sage? That sounds like a new thing. Yeah, I heard that selecting new sages has been taking some time, so he's just filling in. But it's all thanks to him that our research results weren't jeopardized. Once my paper is published, I'm definitely giving myself a long vacation and getting some much-needed rest. Mondstadt sounds like a good idea. They're really out of their minds, making I'll hate them the acting Grand Sage. Take it easy, Professor. I'm puzzled as well. Just going by qualifications, you're one of our most preeminent scholars. I don't know why they picked a stripling like him. Fool! Do you think I'm angry because I wasn't chosen for the position? No! It's because I don't understand why they chose him! He was one of my students, but he rarely attended class. When I asked him about it, he retorted that self-study was better use of his time. What brazen arrogance, misery of miseries, for the academia to have him as the acting grand sage? <laughs> Professor, don't get so worked up. I'll go get you some water. Psst. Want to hear a secret? I've heard the new acting Grand Sage is from Haravatat. Really? Who is it? Someone named Alhatham. Never met him myself, but he's a real hot topic right now. Lots of things being said about him. Hard to tell what's true and what isn't, though. There's also a Vahumana scholar who's been in the spotlight recently. They say that he's a likely pick to be one of the next sages. Oh, is he teaching any courses? Maybe we should drop by. Wow, news of Alhatham being the acting Grand Sage sure spread fast. Some people don't know who he is, though. Guess he's less famous than Paimon Dot. Some people are saying good things and others bad. Especially that old guy just now. He really doesn't like Alhatham. Uh, hey, are you okay? Uh, you don't look too good. The Matra. The Matra? I I'm Ilias. I have to talk to a Matra about something important. In the state you're in? You shouldn't push yourself. Why don't you tell us what happened and we'll pass on your message to a Matra. No, I have to tell them myself. They are the only ones I could trust. Sorry, can you lend me your arm? This is an important matter. Failure is not an option. Since you put it that way, fine. We'll take you to Amatra. We promised to take him to Amatra, but we don't know that many, do we? Oh, wait! Sino should be back at the Academia! Let's go find him! Break. As soon as 
as you stop, all the tiredness and hunger comes rushing back. Wow, great! Huh? Look at the vase! Did someone break it while they were cleaning the room or something? Like, Paimon doesn't remember there being a cleaner. You sound lost and confused. I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this would find their mind overwhelmed. Huh? Is there someone here talking to us? Unfortunately, the fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. But for anyone else... <sighs> Who can say? When a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same is true of fate, like a vase that falls to the ground. Whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird, the result is still a broken vase, is it not? History does not change easily, but human hearts can. Believe your own eyes. Only that which you see is true. What is unseen is but an illusion. The voice has disappeared. And who the heck was that? Anyway, that face is still lying there broken on the ground. Should Paimon go get someone to clean it up? It feels wrong just leaving it there. Just a moment, Paimon will be right back. <laughs> 